The ocean presents us with many great mysteries. So vast, so great, so wet. Beneath the surface there are many stories untold, many creatures undiscovered, many crevices unexplored. Someday we may make it down there, but for now, mapping the entirety of the ocean is like mapping the stars. It's doable with unmanned vehicles, but mostly based on conjecture, estimates, and calculations. There's no way we're getting all the way down there ourselves. I think this is all part of the allure of shipwrecks. Ships have been around longer than the deep sea technology meant to extract bits from the ocean floor. When one went down, that was it. The people, the cargo, the stories themselves would be lost to the waves. Only recently have we been able to discover anything from many shipwrecks. And even then, many mysteries remain. The uncertainty of the sea leads to many questions, like the one we're asking today. Hello fellow friends and philosophers, and welcome back to the most mind-bending channel on YouTube, Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your voice in the void, Keegan Hughes, and today we're swimming out into the vast blue beyond while asking the following question. What if the Titanic disappeared? Before we get into the thick of it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more queries, questions, and quests. Outstanding. Let's set sail. Immediately, the question leaves a lot of room for interpretation. What do you mean if the Titanic disappeared? Like, from the bottom of the ocean? Or while it was still functioning? Both are interesting propositions, so why don't we cover them both? Let's start with the first of the two. What if the Titanic disappeared from the bottom of the ocean? This one is actually rooted in reality, because as we speak, the century-old ship is decomposing on the seafloor. You heard me right, the wreck of the Titanic is on its way out, with some folks speculating that it only has a dozen or so years left before it's nothing but rust particles. As we discussed in the last Titanic LBQ, Can the Titanic Be Salvaged? The famous iceberg-plagued ship is falling apart. After the initial disaster, many folks hypothesized that the ship was deep enough in the ocean for it to be exempt from a lot of bad underwater conditions and life forms that may shorten its post-mortem lifespan. There was no way to confirm this at the time, as the wreck went undiscovered for decades. For all anyone knew, the Titanic was snug as a bug, nestled in among the sand, suspended in a sort of deep sea deep freeze. The bottom of the ocean was estimated to be a perfect preservation place for the ship. This, unfortunately, was not the case. The depth of 3,800 meters did slow the deterioration process, but did not bring it to a stop. No, around 10 years ago, a new form of bacteria was found on the rusticles discovered from the wreck. Named Halomonas titanicae, this is basically a death sentence for the Titanic's remains. These rust-munching microorganisms have spread all over the ship and are consuming it much faster than folks would like. As the water salinity is around 3.5% down around the Titanic, the bacteria don't have too hard of a time surviving. This makes it easy for them to proliferate and break down even more of the wreck. While scientists knew that someday the wreck would indeed disappear, nobody thought it would be this quick. The earliest estimates could have the ship saying bye bye by 2030, although some give it a little more time than that. But either way, the wreck is not long for this world. So what would happen if it totally disappeared from the ocean floor? Well, there wouldn't be any more expeditions down to snag souvenirs, would there? Many trips have been made and plenty of items have been recovered. Some are on display at museums, while others are bought, sold, and added to private collections. A letter written by the ship's assistant surgeon sold for 37,000 pounds or 63,000 American dollars. The key to a life jacket cupboard sold for a whopping 85,000 pounds or 144,000 American. That means that anything already recovered from the Titanic would probably be worth a whole lot more. They're the last surviving pieces of the historic ship. Prices would skyrocket. So anyone holding on to a privately owned piece of the wreck would become much richer. Or maybe each piece would find its way to some sort of public exhibition, finding a way to enrich the lives of many instead of just a few. Either way, the items would gain significance and would likely become more sought out. In addition to raising the value of the artifacts, the disappearance of the ship would also mean that a whole lot of ocean exploring tech would need to be put to new use. So as is the case in a lot of deep sea LBQs, we would start to explore the other parts of the ocean in search of excellent aquatic discoveries. 
This could lead to all sorts of incredible revelations, including new types of aquatic life, links to ancient societies, and other secrets of the universe. We're nothing if we're not optimistic, right? Honestly, maybe a way to hang out on the seafloor would be developed. Wouldn't it be cool to walk around on the spot where the Titanic once sat? Around you, vast nothingness. But if you could wrench your view away from the enormity of it all, you might find some pieces of the ship poking out of the sand. Or maybe you'll notice some new pattern in the debris field. Who knows? I honestly just want to take a stroll along the bottom of the ocean. Is that too much to ask? Coming back to the fork in the road proposed earlier, what if the other disappearance occurred? Instead of the ship sinking, what if it simply disappeared? No distress signals, no survivors, nothing. What if the Titanic just evaporated? That, I think, would be an impetus for many great mysteries. Tales of ghosts roaming the high seas, stories of ancient pirates who could disappear a ship as great as the Titanic. It's quite the romantic thought, isn't it? Imagine how people would react to the news of the Titanic simply ceasing to exist. What would they think caused it? Weather? Monsters? Something even more sinister and less understandable? I love this idea, as it has plenty of potential for different explanations and stories. They would be told for years, each with a different spin on how the unsinkable ship never sank, but also never returned home. Plus, people would be much more wary of sea travel. Sure, smaller boats are known to disappear quite often, but the Titanic, with no trace? Even the most hardened seafarer would think twice before setting out on an aquatic journey. What if the same fate were to befall them? Taking no chances on this one. Maybe someday the cause of the disappearance would be discovered. And no, it wouldn't just be the ship sinking, it would be something much more sinister than that. We're talking about a Lovecraftian mind-rending explanation. Maybe even a Keter class SCP. Either way, isn't it interesting to consider something like that? Something unexplainable but discoverable nonetheless? What can you come up with to make a ship disappear? And with that, I'll leave the discussion with the fishes. What do you think? Which version of the answer do you prefer? The one rooted in reality or in fantasy? What do you think would happen if the Titanic disappeared? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. Speaking of comments, let's take a look at some of your more waterlogged ones from Can the Titanic Be Salvaged? Trippy says, I know that wine has aged really well. A very compelling argument for sending a few more expeditions. What's the vintage on some of that stuff? Adam Jackson says, I made this comment like 10 seconds after the video was posted. And I made this asteroid before this one even went up. Keep on keeping on, Adam. Master Chief says, life biggest questions. What if my dad was real? I mean, your dad had to be real at some point. You're alive after all. Whether or not he's around is a whole other can of worms. Suicide TNA asks, what if Spider-Man was real? Then Uncle Ben would die in real life too. That's all the time we have for today. Before I head out, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more quizzical content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.